Hello and welcome to the Academy. You're here with me, Chatty Tumblr, and we are playing DCS. We're flying the FA-18C Hornet, and we're going to be doing a brief training mission. We have a we weapons qualification sortie here using the AGM-65s, which are laser-guided Mavericks. So we need to kill three BTRATs, which are armored personnel carriers. There is a JTAC, which is a, a forward air controller, basically, on the radio frequency of 131, and he's going to get us into our targets, laser and for us. And we have to do very little other than push fire, pretty much. So there's all the briefing. There's the three targets. Let's get started. Here we go. So let's get set up. Aircraft mode on. Maverick selected, because we have to put some details in there. Uh, let's get rid of this. I don't like to have the map on. It's a bit confusing. Um, Flirt. look. So we have four Mavericks and no Fleur, so we're going to have to do all of this with the JTAC. And we were told in the briefing that it was 131.0, so this is the radio comms button. I can click this to change the channel. Oh, actually, I don't need to change the channel. Channel 1 is 1310, that's already set for us. So if I use the backslash keys by default, I bring up the comms menu. And I'm going to check in with the JTAC. Uh, I've probably got at least 30 minutes flying time. So that's my position altitude, what I've got, and how long I can stay. Turn my helmet to display on while we're at it. Okay, we're ready for the 9 So it's going to give us all the information about the target, and we're going to need to write down the laser code and the grid reference, usually. Ready to copy. Line is as follows. 1, 2, 3, NA, 70, beat, MSL, APC, Charlie, Papa, 0, 3, 0, 6, 4, 2, mark my laser, 1, 6, 8, 8, north, 180 meters, troops in contact. Egress, south. Okay, so ready for remarks and further talk on. hopefully you scribble that out. So the target elevation is at 70 feet, and we've got a grid reference of Charlie Papa 030642. So let's get that set up now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select waypoint 2, so I can create a waypoint. Oh, and there's a target superior underneath. That's just because I've got some target markers on, but we'll ignore that. Uh, go into data, and we need to change this to um, Charlie Papa 030642. And the way we do that is we bring up the UFC and we change to grid and we can use our target TDC select to select the grid that we're going to talk about and then target designate Charlie Papa. I can then type in 030642 and hit enter and now we've got Charlie Papa 3 through 642 but it's got the elevation here as 4,500. We don't want that. So let's put the elevation of 70 feet and enter. Now, if we had a targeting pod, we could be using that right now to target straight on there, but we don't. Um, this is just kind of like a waypoint for us to turn in and out of. So it's back there somewhere. In fact, we can see here, waypoint two is four miles behind us, roughly. And we've got up here is our little uh, aiming brick. We'll turn around and aim for that. But while we are doing that, let's check in and with the JTAC and see what else we've got. Ready to copy remarks. Request AGM 65E, wind 056 at 8 meters per second. Okay, just gonna put my horse pilot on for a second. And let's while we turn on. So he reminded me there that he said about the AGM 65s, we need to get these set up. So at the moment, we've got, this is the code 1111, so it's, it's not it hasn't got a code set, so we're going to have to put it in. So we've gone to UFC, type in code. He told us the code was 1688, and that is the standard code for all the time, pretty much. Let's pop that in. So now when we use our lasers, um, when we use our Mavericks, sorry, it's going to look for this code of 1688, a laser pulsing at that frequency. Um, we don't need to turn anything on. We're not using our laser. We're not using our search mode. We're not even using our FLIR because we don't have one, which it would be nice to be able to see. But let's go around to the target. So it's off to our left here, 
on this brick. And um, what we could do is if we want to see it, uh, the actual box on the ground, we've got it set as a waypoint. If I set it as a weapon designation point, I can actually see it in my HUD. So it's down there somewhere. Well, I'm sorry, I wear um, glasses with my track IR, so when I look up at the top of the screen, it can go a little bit crazy. Right, so we are Lime Red right back. Don't need this as a target anymore, I'll keep it as a waypoint. Okay. We are inbound. Now looking down here, I want to select this with the left sensor. So it's got diamond and I'm going to uncage it and it's going to start looking for a laser. I'm going to tell the guys laser on please. And that cross should change, it should lock. There you go. So he's found it and it's now gone to a, a solid box. And that means we have a good target lock. We see Maverick up here, it says Maverick locked. So let's fire a rough, uh, round off. Okay, and sorry about the track IR. And if I quickly put the autopilot on, and we go to F6, we can watch the rocket coming in. So I'm not doing any of the lasing. I could fly away now, I could do aggressive maneuvers. I don't need to maintain any lock. Hello, Mr. VTR. Bye bye, Mr. VTR. That's that target destroyed. Um, we're going to come around again for another one. So let's talk to the JTAC, see if there's anything else that I need to do. So they're still lasering, so I don't need to do anything at the moment. Um, terminate would just mean stop, I guess. Shift, I guess, is um, target destroyed, very similar to Shack. But let's come back in again. And now our laser, if you look here, is sorry, the Maverick is caged, so it's not actually looking for a laser. So if I, as I come around and point towards the target again, I'm going to uncage, and that's going to start looking for the laser. That cross will stop sweeping when we find it. There you go. So it's found something. The little triangle in the HUD tells me where my Maverick is pointing. Got a good solid lock. That's turned into a box, so rifle. Now it'd be great to fire again at another target, but you can only target one at a time with these Mavericks. So let's go back out again and get ready for the next one. I can uh, pop that in an attitude hold. Oh, F6, there we go. In it goes. Bang. There goes another one. And we are about four miles out. That should be enough. Let's turn back in again. And as I turn in, I'm going to uncage my uh, Maverick. So now it's uncaged and it's going to start looking for that laser frequency of 1688. So it'll stop sweeping when it finds something. Oh, there you go. So it's found something. It's got a solid box. We've got a lock. It's far away. And let's get out away from the area. The autopilot. So look at the Maverick. Uzi six one target destroyed. Check. Uzi six one. No further tasking available. Good job. You may depart. Excellent. Uh, now there is no other option. Um, to say I'm departing the area. I don't know if that's just because it's this little training scenario, but I would always just check and see if there's a, like a checking off station type thing. But we're done. Let's uh, fly for home and go get some TM medals. Hope that's been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, please type down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can with any answers. Hope to see you in the sky soon. Stay safe. Happy hunting.